So we're on site here with the field installation crew at the Mission Cliffs build in Kansas City. Uh, the crew is positioning now. They have a four foot door panel rigged up here on their all-terrain Skytrack forklift. And they have it strapped at two points, which is now clipped into the top plate of the door panel. And they have one, if you notice at the top, they have it hitched at one point so you can actually swivel the panel around, which comes in handy. So they have that one rigged up. Uh, and now they're trying to manipulate that one panel. We're here on site uh, with the, some of the BuildSmart product, uh, specifically one of the BuildSmart wall panels. In this case, it's a panel that's constructed with the structural components of the stud framing, engineered stud framing. It's got the OSB airtight layer. It's got a pre-installed airtighted Passive House certified window, an EPS foam layer, and the exterior zip wall layer, the EPS foam layer being the insulative layer. So it's all complete in a system here that the crew is lifting in here. Uh, complete with the structural framing, all the structural sheathing, which is also the air barrier, the EPS insulative layer, and the exterior zip water resistant barrier. You can see the, the twin window is all pre-installed, pre-airtighted. They're lifting it into place right here using a all-terrain construction forklift, and they have it hooked, hitched to two points. We've provided, uh, BuildSmart's provided these two lifting points and it's now strapped up to a single point on the lift which allows them to pivot the panel into place. They prepped the receiving end of this which you on the bottom level here adjacent to the subfloor is a build smart panel, band panel, that consists of the airtight OSB layer, the EPS insulative layer, and the exterior zip wall layer and now they're getting ready to set it in place. They have a little bit more prep work to do. They have some of the prep work done with the Prosico joint and seam material that's applied to the adjoining and adjacent panel that's already been put into place. That's the sealant that seals the air, air barriers together. So they're getting ready to drop this into place. This is the second day the crew has been on the job. They started in the corner that you see now and they started to come toward the back of the house. In the first day they got roughly about 30 to 40 percent of the panels in place. They had to get used to the system. It took them a couple hours and now you can see they're they're doing this on their own very easily. It's sliding into place very well. They tilt the panel into place to be careful not to drag the sealant material off of its intended surface. In this case it's the two OSP layers and as well on the vertical portion of the wall where it has the joint and seam material. They're very careful about not to scrape that off so it it joins both surfaces very squarely and it interfaces so that that intended sealant remains where it needs to be in place here. So now you can see they've dropped it right into place with the lift. They've tilted it in real nicely so that OSB gets sealed together real, real nicely. And it's a matter of now just adjusting the panel and they're going to fix the two panels together by way of a structural screw fastener. So this panel here is a BuildSmart panel that consists of uh, two, a, a twin window, a twin tilt and turn window over top, uh, it's a combination unit, it's over top two fixed windows in the bottom. And so that's a six foot panel that has a twin window combination unit in it. And it, it's connected to a panel that's been previously installed, a two foot straight panel. So that, that's just a panel that has no glazing in it. It's just a straight build smart panel, which is then connected to a a build smart corner corner panel. The, all the corners are preformed. In this case, it's a 90 degree, two two foot leg, two foot leg build smart panel, which then is now connected to another combination unit, six foot wide build smart panel, which then moves on to another eight foot wide, an eight foot wide build smart straight panel, which is then connected to a one foot wide build smart straight panel. And then that's connected to another six foot twin window unit build smart panel. And it moves on to another three foot panel towards the rear. So there's a combination of panel units. And these really help the designer 
optimize and plug the, these component systems into whatever their design and floor plan may be. And you can see how the, the whole array connected to make this uh, floor uh, footprint here work out. So they're joining the two panels together and it's, it's uh, rather easy to do here. You can see that they have just screwed a little scab block into the, into the subfloor, which allows them now to just pry and slide the panel real easily into place. And then they just affix the two panels together with a structural screw. Okay, you can see, so some of the panels are a little bit heavier, the ones with the twin windows particularly. And it's, if you have a, some type of all-terrain lift or a small crane, oftentimes it's say like a sky crane, or a sign crane, I'm sorry, to lift the panels into place. Then, then most of the panels are actually hand, uh, easily handled uh, manually. Some of these ones, uh, particularly the ones that are without windows in them, the ones that are six feet and under. Uh, this one's been just easy, easily, this one has been easily delivered to the edge of the job site ready to install just by one person here. So we have another corner unit that he's handling here that it's pretty easy to handle with one person and you can load it up onto the, onto the platform here, the platform framing, get that ready for installation. So they're like uh, giant Legos. Essentially, this is a giant Lego system that you plug together and just take these component systems that have all the structural components, the air barrier layer, the insulative layer, and the exterior water resistant layer all in one system so you essentially you're just plugging these together like a, a giant lego system by way of doing it this way now the carpenter crew they don't have to stick frame anything it comes all pre stick frame structurally done they don't have to go and install the windows and airtight them they don't have to go around and wrap the insulative barrier on the out exterior or the zip wall the weather resistant layer on the outside it's all pre-done so they don't have to go around the building three and four times to get this done. It's all pre-installed and ready to go. So the crew is now rigged up on their all-terrain forklift here. They have the panel rigged up at the two points up there, and they have that single point lift. And it's one of the Build Smart door panels, one of the opaque, non-glazed door panels. They're lifting it into place here, getting it ready. You can see everything is pre-installed, pre-airtighted with the door ready to go. They uh, need to drop it into place. It comes with a little skid on the bottom, a shipping skid. They uh, simply remove that shipping skid and then they'll place their sealant on the bottom, in this case of the door threshold and also the air barrier, the OSB air barrier that's connected with the, the door panel. They'll go ahead and seal the bottom of all that and they'll seal the adjoining panel and the floor band system and Drop, tilt it into place and, and fasten it like you would any other any of the other wall panels. There's no difference in the door panels or window panels as far as how they go together. So it's a real simple system. And now the crew is not burdened by having to install the door on site, adjust the door on site, and airtight the door in sight. It's ready to go. Uh, the, uh, it's all inclusive of the air and insulative barrier within the whole system. So we're here day two of the Mission Cliss build in Kansas City with the Build Smart component system. And when we started yesterday morning at about 8.15 in the morning, all they had was a wood floor frame system on and it was sheathed with the subfloor and that was it. So in a matter of, it's about just before 11 o'clock here on the second day, they have all the bands are done with the insulative barrier and the zip layer and the airtight layer. Everything is complete on the band that they put in. They have the walls 75% installed right now. And all the, you'll notice that everything is complete. They have the structural part done on that first floor framing. And now the wall framing, the structural part's complete. All the air barrier is getting completed on the wall framing. It's done because it's all pre-installed at the factory, as well as the insulative barrier and the zip barrier. So now they have 75% of that done and we're not even halfway through done halfway through day two and have all this complete. The only thing they really have to do now is they'll go back and they'll seal up the zip seams with the, the zip sealant on the outside, whether they choose the fluid applied or the tape on the outside. And so they'll just come around the exterior and get that wrapped up uh, when they do their siding work typically. So they're in good shape here, moving along quickly. 
the crew picked it up. Within a couple hours, they picked up the system. Now they're installing it on their own, making things line up in a join, and they're on their way.